Welcome back, everyone, to the Electric Coaches channel. And I got my uh, Tudor Model 500 board here. I have it sitting on top of my custom board. Um, that board is uh, Electric Coach Park. That's a vinyl surface. Um, whenever I tweak my bases, I always tweak on this uh, this aluminum board here, this two to five hundred model right here, and that's what this video is going to be about. And I'm going to entitle it "Tweak Lounge 101." And um, <clears throat> just like all the other tweak videos, we're going, to, we're going to take on. We're going to do the same techniques, but there's one extra thing that I'm going to cover in this in this uh, video today. And I have here this new device from ITZ uh, known as the tweak dial but uh, I I personally call it a, uh, a prong trim guide and I'm going to get into detail of how I use this guide in this video this is uh, one of the guides I have I also have uh, the uh, guide box these uh devices right here all right so we're going to get into that in this video we're going to run this base right here this is the base we're going to talk about gonna, this is a uh itz standard base and we're going to put this base on the uh tweak dial or the prong guides if you will okay and we're going to evaluate the base and uh just look at what the base is doing we're going to discuss the base in this video so um <clears throat> let me uh, clean up this area right here and I'll be right back okay we're back and I have here Haiti repro figure mounted on the ITZ base that I showed you earlier in a previous frame and uh, made a slight modification to it I removed the support beams cross beams inside this uh, part of the base here because I needed more clearance so I can handle the prongs or manipulate the prongs for tweaking okay um, the thing with these ITZ bases let's uh, zoom in a little tighter here like when you first you know when you get this base unlike your traditional base right either end can be the front or the back it's a uniformed base all around, right? So I, I'm, I'm mentioning that because when you tweak a base, the front is supposed to give you control and the back of the base is supposed to be where, you, where the power is, all right? So when you tweak these standard ITZ bases, especially, let's back it off some, you tweak these standard ITZ bases. You want to designate what part of the base is going to be the front or the back for you. Now, although the prongs are in the same shell, right? And they can't this whole this entire base came out of the same mold. Believe it or not, the prongs on one end of the base will perform differently on the other end of the base All right sometimes you can get more control from one end than you can from the other sometimes you can get more power from one end of the base than you can from the other end and by looking at it you can't tell you have to uh, begin tweaking the base to see which end it's going to be power and which end is going to be control front and back now some coaches they may not be concerned about that they may say well they take the base out the pack and they tweak the base sweeping the prongs in one direction and go with that All right but personally I want to know which end is the better end for control or power all right 
And the way we begin to find that out is we first test and see how just just see what the base is doing new out of the pack. That base came out of this pack right here, out of that spot, right? Brand new ITZ standard base, Formula 37, by the way. All right? So we're going to run this guy, and let's see what it does. Okay? As you can see, not good at all, right? Well, that's, uh, we're going to take the guy off, right? And we're going to turn the base around. We're going to put the guy, put the figure back on the base. Let's run it again. Okay, as you can see, this is a new base. Any base that's brand new out the pack is not ready to play. Tweaking is essential in the, in the game or hobby of electric football. And I like to do these run tests in these videos to show the viewer how this base comes up, how this base comes to life. All right. So now we know that this base can't move. A football player that can't move is a football player that can't play for you. We got to get this guy moving. And we start by, we use our needle nose pliers. We have our flat duckbill pliers, which by the way, is a more narrow head than the pliers you see here, the blue ones, right? The red ones, the uh, head is a little bit thinner, okay? We have our Zurin pliers, all right? All kinds of pliers you can use. Uh, I have another set of pliers like these ones on my coffee mug warmer. They're over here, all right? Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's back it up a little bit. Yeah, there's coffee mug warmer right there. The pliers been sitting there for about maybe about, maybe about an hour. All right. So he's some of the, these are some of the tools, and of course we gotta have our straight edge nail clippers, and I'm gonna show you how I use these combined with our prong trimmer guide. All right. And lastly, we got a cigarette lighter for flashing. All right. So let's move all these pliers out of the way. And we're going to uh, start aligning these prongs on this base to see if we can get the base moving and get some idea of which part of the base gives more power and which part of the base gives us more control. So I take my needle nose pliers and since this base, since this is the front as we have the base on the figure, we're gonna start here. We're gonna make, we're gonna sweep the prongs back this way. All right, so I'm gonna take my needle nose pliers and I'm going to curl the prongs like so. Because what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get these prongs to sweep back, right? And if this end works out well, then we'll, uh, we may keep the prongs this way, but if not, we're gonna curl the prongs back the other way, all right? So I take my needle nose and I curl these prongs because I'm trying to get these prongs to sweep back. And I do the same for these front ones. So that's the reason why I had to remove that uh that little uh support beam there so I can get my pliers in here to roll to to, to roll these to, to roll these prongs. All right. I'm trying to get these uh prongs here swept back some. Now in doing this, you you can when you sweep these prongs, you have a tendency to twist the prongs. So you want to make sure that when you lay these prongs back, 
you lay them back flat. You don't want to like twist the prongs. You don't want to angle the prongs, all right? Okay. Take my fingers here. Sweep the prongs back. See if we can get a angle here. All right. Now you see how the prongs are leaning more this way, especially these these front prongs up here. See how they leaning back like that? Okay. So we're gonna work on these back ones a little bit more. I haven't flattened the prongs yet. Haven't haven't flashed them yet, right? Everything I did to this base so far, you've seen in this video so far. All right. Let's see here. All right. So now we're going to put this guy on the table. And now we're going to run him, see, see how it moves. Look at that. Just by aligning the prongs. It's like night and day, isn't it? When we first got the base, the base wouldn't go, the base bounced between the 10 and the 15 yard line. Now our base, we got some forward movement and a little bit of speed. And all we used was our needle nose pliers just to get the prongs to sweep back. So if you were an amateur tweaker, right? You know, if you were, you know, new to tweaking and you did this, <laughs> hey, you can start playing electric football. Now, you might not exactly win no games against myself or, you know, some other coaches out there, but at least your players will move, all right? So now I got some movement. So what I want to do, I want to match up this base against a base that I've already tweaked. Because what, I, what I'm trying to find out is, I'm trying to find out which end of the base is good for power or control, right? Let's zoom in real quick, a little bit. So I went and got a Hay Repro blocker, all right? And I'm going to take another base that I already tweaked and I got it on one of my 49ers. This is my uh, Richard Sherman figure here. All right, and this base I know is already ready to play. Now I know that this guy, our new green base, the Haley Repro, which is mine on the Haley Repro defensive back, I already know that he's gonna lose the pushing battle because the base is not fully tweaked. I'm just trying to see which end can I get power out of, which end of the base I can get power out of. So let's go ahead and run these two. Let's see what happens. Okay. Got pushed off the ball, right? Okay. Let's do it again. Okay. He lost the pushing battle to the base that's on the Richard Sherman figure. That was on the Richard Sherman figure, right? The Haiti Repro figure lost the pushing battle. Now, looking at the prongs, bit now we know that the way we had the prongs swept back right they're going this way okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the prongs and I'm gonna sweep them the other way to see if we can get more power all right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the base off and I'm simply going to turn the base around. All right. And I'm gonna make one end of the, the end that was the front, I made the back and the back is now, the uh, front is now the back and the back is now the front. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn my prongs, I'm gonna roll them back the other way. All right. Using my needle nose pliers again. Back up a little bit. Okay, so this end right here, 
was our original front. So I'm going to take the prongs and I'm going to roll them back the other way. All right. I'm going to do this until the prongs sweep the other way. Now, you're, some of you are saying, well, what if that way it appears to be weaker than the first way you had? Well, then we're going to roll the prongs back the other way. That's the reason why we're not melting anything and we're not clipping anything just yet. All we're doing is moving the prongs from one, from one way to another. Right? Now this, this, this right here is not committing the it's not committing the base to be anything yet all right speaking of committing a base when you cut or you melt anything on your base there's no coming back from that that's what I mean by committing your base what I'm doing here this is basically you know testing our base running our base through trials all right by simply curling our prong using our needle nose pliers right oh yeah and another thing if you smash the prongs you've committed the, you've committed the base right no smashing no stretching no cutting no melting all of that means commitment right you don't want to do that to your base yet so, okay this right here this was the original front that I'm curling right now see I'm going to make this part of the base the rear. All right. Now, here, up here, was the original rear. And we're going to curl these prongs until they lay back the opposite way. And then we're going to test it out and see what it does. Now, if the base gives me equal performance, then I'm just going to leave the prongs here where they're at and I'm going to tweak. All right so you can take this tweaking as far as you want to you can spend as much time as you want on a base you know for me this is a labor of love you know some coaches you know they're like man you know tweaking is like all day it's hard you know for me I'll set aside time to do this I, I, I've spent I've spent like a day drilling a base one base that's just me that's how I that's, that's how I do it okay so now I got these prongs going the other way okay okay got the angle now going back that way okay and by the way this is what you know this is what reverse tweaking is all right I digress for a moment but if you got like a dial base you know something like this now you know a dial base is usually the front is where the dial is right and you move and you lean the prongs back the opposite way that's reverse tweaking that's basically what I did with this base right here Okay, let's let's uh match him up again to the Haley Repro figure, Haley Repro blocker figure, right? And let's run and see what happens. Oh, you see how fast he got pushed back? You see that? That's what I'm talking about. Now the first trial that we ran, the first trial that we ran. This guy held his ground. Now let's make sure, because that's, that's another thing too, we gotta make sure that we got more lean on the prongs. Because prongs that stand up vertical, there's no power there. All right? Let's run it again. Okay, he got creamed that time. Let me um grab his base again. And let's make sure our prongs are curled and lean in the, in the proper direction here 
all right trying to put this trying to get these prawns to lay back all right see here keep curling tell these prawns because this is the back of the base now this part of the base is the back so again all your power or at least most of your power comes from the back all right and all of your control comes from the front so we're going to curl these prongs okay let's set them back on the board again see what it does okay that time the base held its ground a whole lot better let's zoom in okay I, I put a little bit more curl on those prongs look at that back it off a bit okay let's do it again Yeah. Okay, that's a good look right there. So what I just did today was, at this moment, I have determined. Let's get our figure secure to the base real quick. Okay. I have determined that this side or this end of the base is better to be the front and not the back because this end down here is giving me more power you see because remember initially when we first ran our test we curled the prongs the first time right the base it lost the pushing battle which is which is supposed to do because it's a new base right and then when i moved the prongs the opposite way we got more resistance, see? So that's why I curl the prongs both directions. Because I want to find out which end is better for power and which end is better for control. Now we're going to run the base again like we did before. And we're going to see what type of movement we get now. Look at that. The prongs being swept in the direction that they're swept in now gives us more power and better control going up the board. The first time we did, remember the figure ran and turned to the left, right? Watch this. Look at that. Beautiful. That's a good start. We haven't flattened any prongs yet. We haven't trimmed anything. We haven't melted anything. And the base is moving. That's a good look. Now this base belongs to my cornerback, Richard Sherman, right? We're gonna keep that base right here on this Haiti Repro blocker because we're gonna come back and we're gonna match our new guy up against our veteran player right here, right? Okay, see now. Let's see here. I'm going to do one more check. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And while I was offline, I did some more uh, aligning of my prongs. Okay? Because basically what I'm doing here is, I'm now, I'm getting these prongs ready to insert them into the, uh, the prong trim guide. All right, and I'm going to get to that momentarily in this video. All right. So, but before I put those prongs in this guide to be trimmed, I want to make sure I got my prongs set up the way I want. So, 
The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to flash these prongs using my lighter. Now, in previous videos, I would take the base under the microscope and show you the flash. But we're not going to do that here today because we want to save some time. All right. So we're going to go right to our lighter. Okay. Let's back it up a little bit. And we're going to uh, remove the excess plastic that may be on the tips of these prongs, right? So I like to start with the back first. So I get my lighter going. Do it again. Pass it over the base, over the base like that. Flip the uh, base over. Get my lighter going again and do that. Then I check the base to make sure I didn't warp the prongs. And one way you can do that is you want to get yourself a pair of these magnifying glasses right here. All right. So for the sake of this video, you know, I would normally, like I said, I would show you the microscope. But when I'm not on video, when I'm not on set, I use these. And they give me a closer look of uh, what my prongs look like. All right. So now I, uh, I flash the prongs. Okay, remove the flash from the prongs and uh, take my needle nose pliers and just uh, check the alignment on these prongs. Okay, they look straight. So uh, let's run the base one more time. Got a little bit more speed out of it. And let's. Uh, do one more pushing test real quick and see what happens. Okay, the flashing caused this base to lose a little bit of power. But that's okay because we're still tweaking, so. But I'm convinced that this part is the is the back. That's where the talent is. Let's zoom in a little bit tighter. Okay, losing the pushing battle. Not a problem. All right. So now, going to get into our tweak guide tool. Now you have different lengths here. You have the one millimeter, the 1.5 millimeter, the two, the 2.5, and the three millimeter. All right. So based on how much of the prong that you want to trim, will determine which one of these trim guides you use okay so let's go with the one millimeter right we're going to put our base in there so basically what you're doing is you're going to take the prongs and you're going to slide them into the slit of the guide and the part of the prong that's exposed is the part that you trim you see now you see how much prong is being shown here right you see that now watch when I move it to the three millimeter I'm gonna slide my prongs into these slots and as you can see a little bit less of prong is available to be cut. Now, for those of you who are new to base tweaking and possibly new to my channel, you may be asking why are you worried about the tips of the base, tips of the prongs, right? Well, if you want to get like a straight edge cut on the tips of your prongs, this tool right here is a is a godsend all right so you saw how i put the prongs of the base into the slits on these different uh, uh tweak guides now combine that with a straight edge nail clipper right i'm going to get into that in a moment i'm just breaking it down for you piece by piece 
All right? So you'll have the base, the prongs will be protruding from this side of the trimmer. And you take your straight edge nail clippers and you grab that little portion, the, the, the little pieces of uh, the little nips of the prongs that are extending beyond the trimmer. And in one clip, take them off. That's how you get a perfect cut every time. Because see, before this tool, right? I mean, just personally, myself, I was trimming my tips, my base, my base prong tips, all right? I was trimming them by eye because this edge is straight because the edge of my clippers are straight. I lined it up with the front edge of the base and I made my trim like that, okay? Got some pictures I'm going to show you also. That, uh, that depicts a base that I trimmed before ever having one of these, okay? So, what we're gonna do next is, we're going to, gonna go to another set, and I'm gonna set the base up on this uh, prong guide tool. I'm gonna have to set the base up, and I'm going to get ready to show you the clipping of my prongs. I'll be back. Okay, now I have my base set on my prong trimmer guide, okay? And I'm holding the base on using a clamp. Cuz I want to I don't want the base to slide when I when I go to make my trim. I'm using the 2.5 millimeter guide to trim my prongs and I'm going to do something different I'm going to do something special here with this base and the plan is I'm going to trim the front prongs which you see at the top here I'm going to trim those uh, to be a little bit shorter than the back I, I mean I could trim both the back and the front using the same 2.5 millimeter setting. But I want that slightly jacked up appearance, right? Because when your base is like a little higher in the rear and, and a little bit lower in the front, that encourages forward movement and it also builds, it's, it's also, it, uh, it gives you power as well, okay? Along with the prongs being swept back in a, uh, in, a, in, a, in a backward direction, all right? So I'm gonna clip these front prongs first. And down here are the back prongs. I'm gonna move the, the entire base to say, uh, I'll move it to like uh, maybe, if I'm doing 2.5 here, I'm gonna have to do the back prongs at three to get less material taken away from the back. All right, if I want to get that jacked up appearance. So let me set this down here. And I'm going to get my straight edge nail clippers. And if you look close, the exposed tips right here. I'm going to reach in with my nail clippers like so. And I'm going to grab all those prongs all four of them using the nail clipper and in one clip take all four of the prongs and that should have given me a straight edge cut and it looked like it did all right Okay, so I'm going to set that down. Let's see how many shards I got here. I can count the number of shards. Uh, trying to get that third one out of there. All right, so I got three. I should have four shards 
from that clip got two right here got the third one there and it looks like the fourth one must have uh, flaked off somewhere but that's okay um, looking at the base I have I've gotten those four prongs up front and I'm going to uh, take a picture of that and I'm going to show that to you momentarily we'll be right back okay I'm back I took the base off of the prong trimmer guide and I put it back on my figure because I want to test how it runs and I also got to test the resistance um the way I was holding the clippers and the guy in the camera I may have slightly angled one of the prongs um, I took a picture of that by the way and uh, I'll, I'll put that up in this video uh, yeah I have it right here okay so anyway one of the prongs look like it's been slightly angled but not a problem as long as you get the idea of how to use this tool to help you trim the tips of your prongs I still haven't done the back prongs yet and like I said earlier I intend to trim these prongs just a little bit shorter I'm just going to take off a I'm not going to take off 2.5 millimeters in the back the way I did in the front. I'm going to do, I'm going to set this, this prong, these prongs in the back. I'm going to put that on the 3 millimeter setting. And that's only going to take off a very small amount. And that way I'll be able to maintain that uh, jacked up appearance of the base. In fact, let's, let's zoom in a little bit and see if we can get a look here. All right, this is the front of the base here. And there's a slight forward lean in the base as it stands right now, all right? So we're gonna run the base real quick. Let's see what we get from it. Okay, we still got forward movement. Now we're gonna match him up against the Richard Sherman base again. Get down here on the field. Let's see what it does. Okay, it loses the pushing battle. Kind of figured it was going to do that. I now, mean, I still got to tweak the base. And again, like I said earlier, I think I may have uh, angled the clippers a little bit when I had it. When I had the clippers uh, flush. I thought I had the clippers flush against the uh, the guide tool, right? And I may have had my clippers slightly tipped a little bit. But my hands were in the camera, so that's probably why that happened. So, now we're going to look at the uh, back prongs, and we'll do the same thing, all right? So, um... I'm going to do that and I'll be back and we'll run the base some more and you know, test the base and see what the outcome looks like. I'll be back. Okay, now I've tweaked the ends of the base. This part up here is the front of the base and this part down here is the back. And as you can see, the prongs are less visible. I got it. I have the I have the base on the 2.5 millimeter uh, trim trim guide. All right. So initially the front prongs I trimmed off a small amount by using the 2.5 guide, and then I moved the base over to the uh, three millimeter guide. All right, and I trimmed the back prongs so I trimmed less material from the back prongs than I did the front prongs all right so now we're going to do we're going to take our base right 
we're going to uh, run it and again we still haven't done we haven't like melted anything now because we trimmed the tips already that part of the base is committed no going back from that right and offline I'm gonna do some uh, I'm gonna finish this base offline this video here is primarily just to talk about how to use this uh, tweak tool all right let's run the base see what happens okay the base is not running as fluid as it was when we just aligned the prongs and the reason being is because now the tips of the prongs are grabbing the board right remember we trimmed those tips so now we expose the inner core of that plastic so that that part of the base is very tacky and that's why it appears and that's why the figure is grabbing or jumping if you will right no need to worry no need to worry because there's still other tweaks that we got to do to this base we're nowhere near finished all right so what I'm going to do here is I am going to take my flat duck bill pliers and I'm going to grab these prongs and I'm going to start flattening them a little bit because after after trim, trimming those tips you have that that inner plastic now is really tacky and because the prongs haven't been flattened yet, it's got a wide surface area and it's grabbing the base and it's causing the base to drag. So we'll flatten our prongs using our, these thin duckbill pliers. Use them to smash on both sides of the prong like you have your tongue side that's in here and your lip side right think, like I said in, in previous videos think of prongs like your teeth you have the the back side of the prong that's on the side where your tongue is and then you have the front side of your teeth where your lips are so both sides of those prongs you want to flatten using your duckbill pliers all right so you want to reduce that surface area of these prong of these uh of the tips of these prongs to reduce the amount of drag that we're getting and again i'm, I'm, I'm going to do everything to this base offline okay Flip it over and do the tongue side here. All right. Okay. Let's run this base. Okay. We got our movement back, see? Because the tips of the prongs now are a little bit thinner. The cross section is a bit thinner. So it's not grabbing the board. And now we're going to put them up against the Richard Sherman figure. The Richard Sherman base again. And we're going to test to see if we can get that. See if we have that resistance that we had earlier. See what happens. And it gets creamed. Wow. <laughs> oh, this base has a long way to go. Has a long way to go. All right. Okay. Do it again. Yeah, this base has a lot of work. It's gonna need some work. Huh? All right. So look, this is what we're gonna do. We're going to adjourn here, and I'm gonna sit down and work with this base some more. But the primary goal of this video was to show you how to use your tweak guide tools, all right? 
got these all right you got your 1.5 millimeter two millimeter three millimeter guides right these are the boxes by the way you can put a base inside of here and do the same thing with these that you would do with this guide here <clears throat> all right so combine that with your nail clipper and it will help you to get a straighter edge on the uh, tips of your prongs all right again I'm going to finish tweaking this base offline and uh, we're going to see if we can get it to uh, join one of our teams I'm Mo Thanks for watching.